today is uh, January 8th and this is Gold Robotics. Um, made a lot of progress today, so let's get to it. We'll start with Reese's butt. Okay. My robot, you're going to see no progress because technically there isn't that much that we can show. All we did today was we took out our conveyor belt system, completely gutted it, and I tried, and I tried to fix some problems. First thing I tried is after I gutted it was to see if I could fit it to where the rings could go underneath it to where where the conveyor belt's on top and the rings slide underneath it. That if I could have done that, then I would have solved a problem where if the ring is oriented like this, where the lip is down while going up, the ring would catch uh, the conveyor belt would catch it and it would just fling it straight down and it would just go right underneath the pole. That was one of the problems we had was scoring and consistency early on. And I thought if I had a conveyor belt on top, that would fix it. I couldn't fit it uh, just the way my, I built every other mechanism around it. It just wasn't able, I wasn't able to fit it properly. So I put it all back, so I put my regular conveyor belt all back together. But this time I made sure I did everything right and I had no friction to, so now that instead of it going 150, 100 RPMs, like previously, it actually goes to full 200 RPMs with all the mechanisms. Doing it. It's a lot faster now, so I, I don't have that much friction, which means that it'll be a lot easier to have more consistent scoring, and also my motor won't time out after two minutes like it did before. So yeah, that's a, a lot of progress because that's something that takes a long time, but in the end, it's gonna pay off good. Um, all right, so me and Nathan have been working on our next step in this uh, robot, on this robot, which is the lift. So I was building the four bar, and Nathan's been building the uh, end effector, so I'll go with the four bar stuff first. But pretty much the whole design of it is very similar to what we've built before and what Reese has and all that kind of stuff, to where um, we, we have like this four bar, you know, let me back up. Yeah. And, uh, this is this is just the bottom bar, and I don't have anything really connected too much yet. Um, but I know like spots for stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, the the hard part was because we have this giant conveyor belt running through the middle. Um, it's going to be difficult to. It was difficult to find a spot for the axle to fit. So uh, instead of so my original idea was to put it like somewhere back here like right here, but then I ended up putting it between the conveyor belt, which is something that I was like, I don't really want to do this as much because if we could have it back, it would be nicer because we wouldn't have to worry about any future problems. Um, but since we put it in the middle, you have to get it like right exact in the right spot to make it work. So that's why it probably took a while today to get it because we had to find the exact right spot. But we found it and um, it's pretty, it, it looks pretty good as far as how it's all gonna work. Um, so I'll sh show uh, the end effector off. Nathan will show the end effector off actually. So uh, with the end effector, we essentially just built like a frame and this part's gonna be able to go underneath it and then have this part lock onto it once we attach this to the lift and the pneumatics are going to be pushing this up and down so that we can just lock onto that. So pretty simple, just took a lot of fine tuning where it's going to go. Yeah, and the uh, thing about that was we have on our bots all this space in this area, like this up area right here. So we're like, well, instead of putting the piston low, like everything else, we can put that pretty high. So instead of what we've done before, which is having the piston push up, like from the bottom, we can just have it up here and push down. Um, and it's double action, so it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, um, a lot of progress today. I'm very excited. Hopefully tomorrow we can get the lift done. And Reese can get um, a pretty consistent scoring something set up. Yeah. So, um, but for right now, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.